episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. More Comic-Con time stuff, or Comic-Con stuff now, uh, for the official Netflix teaser trailer for The Witcher. Now, this is, I guess, you could say, not counting the, the trailer we saw last week, the first big project for Henry Cavill post him exiting the DCEU. Well, that we know of so far. Yes. So, anyways, The Witcher. Most people know it nowadays for the iconic video game trilogy. Mm -hmm. Witcher 3 is considered one of the best video games of our current generation. Yeah. And... And for some that don't know... The Witcher is based off of an actual series of books. Yes, an actual series of books. Very iconic books from a Polish... Uh, from It's a very popular set of Polish fantasy uh, novels. Uh, the main story follows Gerard... J J Jer I'm going to have to say Gerard Butler or something? No, Geralt of Rivia, okay. a.k.a. Jerry of the River. Yeah. Um, it's a Maximilian joke. Jerry of the River. Um, but it stars him. It, it base bases around him. He's a witcher. So he goes around hunting not only humans or stuff like but hunting otherworldly creatures in yeah. this. So the main character in this is being played by Henry Cavill. Or yeah. Cavill. Is it Cavill or Cavill? I, I forget how we had this debate last time. Is it Cavill? I don't know. So oh, let's go with Henry Cavill. So anyways, Henry Cavill plays this iconic role. Uh, a couple things to know is this is not based off of the CG Project Red video games, but instead more based off the books. This yeah. is also the second time they've adapted The Witcher into a TV series. There was one a long, a long while back they tried. It didn't do so well from what I heard. Yeah. Um, People were people really enjoyed the last big announcement for this when he unveiled the horse roach. And I put a comment, I'm like, it's the only series I know where people go, oh shit, it's the horse! horse! Oh my god, it's the horse! So but, it's more popular. But we popular. have never played the games. We know about the games. We, you know, we know about the character. You know, people were already up in arms when, like, oh, uh, is it uh, Harry Cavill was not supporting a 5 o'clock shadow in the original teaser shot of him. So... I don't know what to expect some from people, this. Some people are a little bit iffy with the, the, his hair because it's like, okay, that we could tell. It, like some people are like, we could totally the tell. That's only the only thing, way. other thing worth noting that I know of because of the Soul Calibur announcement is that he doesn't have both his swords because yeah. he uses one sword for normal stuff and the other sword for slaying monsters. Yeah, I know that much. So yeah. let's just dive right into this uh, for the teaser Netflix teaser for The Witcher. So here we go. Yes, we all look good right here. Sorcerers of the continent. But humans and monsters are not here. Elves. Mm, natural accidents have to cut chaos at the magic. It's nice. And then the humans slaughtered them. Chaos is the most dangerous thing in this world. But without control, chaos will kill you. Oh, shit. God damn, he's jacked up. Really? That's the least surprising thing about this trailer. That means, but ooh. <laughs> ooh. Uh, still no date. Hmm. Yeah, they're still working on that. Is, why. It, is it 2019 or is it 2020? I don't know, but I know they are still working on it. Um, yeah. No, I know, uh, sorry if I said, said, oh my god, he's jacked up. I completely forgot. I remember it's it, Henry Cavill we're talking about. This motherfucker looked jack and man of steel. Uh, like, 
Chris oh, no, no, no. He jacked. No, what I'm saying is that he worked out even more. At, was it for this role? He got. He got pretty much built back up. Pretty much put it that way. I follow him on. Instagram. Oh yeah, he, he probably like. Wait, that was Superman. Which your role come? Which, which your offer comes? <laughs> back to the gym I go. Sorry, Plan Fitness. I need to renew my membership. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, it looks interesting. It really does. Oh yeah, I. Okay, I'm gonna say this. People are getting mad. I get, I do get vague, very vague Game of Thrones vibes. Do not calm down, cru- calm down. Do please. not crucify no, me. The, the, please, please, calm I've down. I've already disclaimed. Please, I know next please. to nothing about the Hold video game. Hold the tomatoes with the lettuce, please. Don't throw in the mattos, please. I know next to nothing about the video game series. I know, I do know it was based on the original book series. I know, I believe the original book series actually C. Project Red owns the, the rights, not the Polish original Polish mm-hmm. offer from what I heard. No, but um, for, from newbies that you're looking at here, pretty much, not people that have played the game or read the books or anything like that, um, it looks good. I, I you know, I, I, it looks like it's going to be a really big adventure, pretty much, uh, for uh, Geralt, pretty much, and just the action they're putting into this. Um, but it looks interesting. I like I like the effects. I love what they're putting he together. He is legitimately the only actor I recognize in um, the cast list. <laughs> Uh, but it, uh, Netflix has something good on their hands because I know Netflix right now hasn't been doing so well. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, um, I mean, when you set your entire your Marvel Netflix universe on fire because you don't want to fuck with Disney, you know, and raising your prices like crazy. Um, but it's 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 the type of thing, pretty much, where it's like they get, Netflix has something good. Yeah, on Game of Thrones ties in. Apparently, the director of a few of the episodes of the season. Yeah, I know that. I heard about that. W- worked on some attack for Game of Thrones set. That's why I got Game of Thrones vibes. That's why. It is... Sorry. But anyway, it's pretty much... I think Netflix has something good on their hands. They're going off of something that's still fresh. Still people that enjoy for... for um, The video game series. For the video game series. Despite so, it not being based off of the video game series. Yeah, but, but despite, it is despite it, but still something, you know... For those who enjoy the character who read the books I mean, stuff like that. if I were to go off of this trailer, he... Henry Cavill looks apart. He's looking like he's acting the part. It's nice to see that he's using his natural accent for this, which is nice. Um, Plot-wise, it looks like he has a destiny, but he's like, fuck destiny, I'm just going to do what Witcher does, go around and hunt things that go bump in the night, and that's really it. But then, of course, destiny comes a knocking, and he has no choice but to accept his fate. Yeah, pretty much. Probably, yeah. I've watched too many fantasy movies with the same plot. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this this honestly looks good. If I yeah. were to give it, this looks good. I think if it does well enough, this could be like people's small like Game of Thrones fix until this. Yeah, the, for the, Netflix. The, 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 in a way, yeah. Until the completely pointless spinoff. So like. Yeah, um, exactly. The prequel spinoffs. Yeah, like I do recognize uh, somebody else named Yennefer. It's one of the characters he runs into in the video game. Yeah. So I don't. So, but it does look good. If I'm going to give it anchor, I think it looks good. You know, it feels like this is setting up for more of him accepting his destiny, more yeah. of what the books provide. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, if it gets another season, they'll probably start him sprinkling some stuff from the video game into it. Yeah, not too much, just a little bit. Just a, something to please some of the fans. But who knows? Bit. Based off of what I've seen here... It actually does look good. It does. It does it really, look good. It really does. It looks like they're actually putting effort into this. It actually does. Mm-hmm. Whether it's that those the visuals, which look really good. Where it's, it's like they're making sure that it, it's, it's the type of thing where they're making sure if we're you know it's like we're not gonna do this based on the video game. We're at least gonna do the best we can with the book. Where is that I like Battle of the Bastards inspired as shot of those guys just marching straight towards everybody. You yeah. Know? Whole, I mean, it does look good. It looks like put effort into it. I don't want people to think, oh, we didn't want, we don't, we don't give a fuck about the video games. We don't give a fuck. No, this does look good. And I know that we know next to nothing about it. Yeah. So, yeah, we would love to watch it. Probably be definitely add it to my list. Add to my list as well. You know, I wish Henry Cavill the best of luck. So, other than that, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about stuff coming from Comic-Con, hit the subscribe button down below. And hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this teaser overall. Um, if you read the original books or even played the game or even... Oh, you're one of those that's with us pretty much. We haven't done either. What are your guys' thoughts on this overall? Is this something that you definitely would not mind watching? Taking a look at you love this. This is right up your alley. Um, is it your pretty much Game of Thrones fix at least for now or something? 
Um, let us know in the comments down below. But then what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. And it's been a very, uh, been, a, been a very Jerry by the river filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.